<coughs> Hello! <laughs> Didn't see you there. In fact, I was just uh, lounging around with this nice roby blanket thing and some uh, homemade coffee. But what I really wish I had was a human-made branded blanket fleece thing. <laughs> What's this? I think this could be exactly what the doctor ordered. In this video, we're gonna open up the coolest human-made accessory I have seen recently. One that uh, I didn't actually think they'd be releasing online. <clears throat> Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Passport Style, guys. Um, this is a piece that uh, Human Made actually, actually released uh, in a capsule collection that they first had in a mall in Tokyo, I believe. I thought it was just gonna be, you know, for that in-store release. And then to my surprise, a few weeks later, they ended up dropping that collection online. And I really wanted, they had like this duck fleece that looks super, uh, vest, I should say, that looks super dope, but that sold out way too quick. I went back and this was still in stock. I was able to pick one up before they sold out. So here we are, I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna try it on and show you what it looks like. Ooh. All right, classic uh, human-made little, uh, what do you call this? What do you call this? Folder? Oh, that's juicy. All right, here's the packaging. Wow, this is thick. All right, it says beige. It was 9,800 yen plus tax. It's like, I don't know, 90 bucks plus tax. The funniest thing about this checkout was that shipping was straight up like $14 or $15 from Tokyo, which was weird because uh, shipping for the uh, the uh, fleece that Rave Pullover Cactus Plant Flea Market collab was like $50. So, oh yes, let's get it. All right, that's pretty robust. That was satisfying. Ooh. Yo! All right, let's go. Yo, I feel like I'm hugging a bear right now. I'm hugging, I'm hugging something nice and furry. All right, cool. So we got the little tags right here. Um, they're stickers, so you can take these off. 100% polyester on probably Probably this side, I'm thinking. And then it says 80% um, polyester and 20% acrylic for another part. Um, I don't know which side is which, but basically all polyester, a little bit of acrylic. And I think it says um, don't iron, um, don't wash, don't dry, maybe dry clean only. I don't know, it's in Japanese and um, only symbols. Cool, yo, check out this little detail here. So this is the other side of that human made button. I'm gonna show you, you can actually wear this, but let me hold it up real quick. Yo, if you are a Spanish matador, yo, this would be probably the most fire, most hype thing you could use to uh, bring those bowls in. Uh, here's the other side, just all brown. Kind of like, a, I don't know, this, is this what the inside of the human-made duck is made out of? Hopefully, uh, no, no human-made ducks were harmed in the making of this. Yo, this is, this is cozy, man, this is cozy. Get a little close up of that. It was um, 9,800 yen. Honestly, I'm happy with that price. I feel like they could have charged double for this and it still would have sold out. Um, sold out pretty quickly, man. Like first five minutes, I want to say. And this was one of those rare human-made drops where, like, I was, at, you know, I was sitting at the ready 9 p.m. on a Friday. Yo, let's put this on. So this is this is how they uh, this is how they advertise it on the website. So. You have the uh, outer ends of the buttons on this side, and then you can snap it on this side. That's actually a super natural way to put this on. And Yo, let's go. All right, it says one button, two buttons. Seems like they just have the two buttons. Yo, I feel like Superman. All right, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna move the camera so you can see me standing up, but.
I think I'm, uh, I can see myself working like this the rest of the day. I have a, a space heater over to the right, but I think this is all I need now. Yo, this is pretty fire, honestly. Um, so it seems like it's not reversible. I mean, frankly, you would probably want this on the inside anyway, but you know, I can definitely see myself wearing this out. And um, you know, as part of this collection, I, like my vibe that I was getting from it was that I took like the Patagonia kind of logo, like that mountain ridge kind of look, then just put human made colors on it. You got like, you know, this, what do you call this? Uh, more of an, a royal blue indigo, cyan, back to that. And then there's actually a little line of green on the, each side of this yellow, because yellow plus blue is green. I just put two and two together there. Um, you know, this is nice and soft, it, it, you know, it's, it's somewhat thick, you know, like this thick, if you like press down on the, uh, or if you don't press down on the actual layer. I mean, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, feels good for the size. Yeah, pretty fire. Let me know what you guys think about this piece. Would you be rocking this? Would you flip it? Would you drip it? Um, yeah, I wanna hear your thoughts and you know, what price would you potentially be willing to pay for this? As always, I'm gonna answer any questions you have uh, in the comments down below. Please be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. I really enjoy sharing pieces of Japanese streetwear that I'm picking up. And uh, until next time, guys, I'm out.